Hey guys, Jake Boyle, the Habitat Pro. Potted trees or bare root trees? What should you plant if you are gonna plant trees on your property? This is gonna be a video mainly about evergreens. I'm gonna show you some that were treated very poorly and they still survived. Uh, by, by very poorly, I mean left in the yard, never planted. I'm gonna show you how well they're doing on the channel today so you can look and see, hey, if he left those out on top of the ground, and they're doing fine above ground. If I plant them on my property, they'll probably do pretty good. So what I'm gonna show you today to actually prove one or the other is I'm gonna show you a huge batch, hundreds of trees that did not get planted last year, delivered here to the property in April. We of course had the drought, the economy is what it is. So nobody came to get trees. So they sat here in the yard on top of the grass and all I did was watered them every about a week or so I'd hit them pretty good with water but they're doing great and I'm going to show you that today on the channel so you can make your decision as you're ordering trees I will have tree order information at the end of the video for those of you who are near me in northern Minnesota as usual if this is of any help to you like and subscribe we really appreciate your support here we go really All right, guys, that is an 18 count tray of Black Hill spruce. You can see they were shaded from the other trees next to them, stacked together like that in the 18 count trays. Not treated special at all. I packed them all together so that I could water them all in one shot. And this is what's left from buyers coming to get them at the end of season last year. But you can see here, there's not a whole lot going on here. I mean, that is not a big root system, right? About as big as my hand. And that tree did wonderfully last year. This is all last year's growth, right? Right up at the top. This whole deal right there, about eight inches in the pot. That is a potted two-year-old tree. Every one of those trays, 18 count. I mean, some of those are, those are that tallest one there. That's thigh high. He's right in the middle of my quad. And some of those are even taller. I mean, look at these bad boys. These were in the middle of this whole stash here and those are pushing my belt tight with that tiny little root system. Those are three year old shrink spruce. That's a, in the kind of the white family there, the white spruce family. But you can see how well those did. Those are actually grown into the grass right there, frozen solid right now but doing just fine, happy, and look at these. These are the shrink spruce that you can see. I didn't, like, this is not how a nursery does it. A nursery guy is probably scratching his head right now going, why didn't you up pot those? Well, I don't, I'm not a nursery. I'm a deer guy. These are usually in the ground for deer clients. And this year, nobody wanted to plant trees, so here they sit. So this right here, is just a testament to what potted trees will do for you. Because these are the only ones I lost out of about 900 trees sitting here. So believe it or not, that is a 20 by 20 square of shrink spruce. Somebody came and got all of my Eastern red cedar. There was a 20 by 20 square there. And the only dead ones were right here, this patch. I don't know what that is, what do you think? 30 maybe I don't know those were the only ones where the roots weren't driven down through the pot into the grass and now you come over here to the eastern red cedars in the two-year-old variety in the trays and we've got the same thing you can see here the tree just learned hey I don't have any sunlight down here because this it was of course packed together to the other ones but did fantastic up top. All of this is last year's growth. All right, guys, so what is showing you a whole batch of poorly treated potted trees show you? Well, the point of it all is I'm a big copy nature guy, okay? I wanna keep things native habitat if possible. I wanna do things the way the creator designed from the beginning. And trees are made to grow from seed right? And if they grow from seed, they're not designed to get ripped out of their growing place and moved and transplanted to another spot. So if we're at 
asking that tree to come to new soil and attach quickly and grow vigorously with possibly not the greatest growing conditions if we can't get there to water the tree or to protect it from deer browse, then we're asking the tree to do something it's not designed to do. There's no way I'm going to mess around with trying to make sure I've got the correct length of root so they don't J-root and I've got them tucked in right and I'm going to dip a bar. No, not doing it, guys. It is not worth it. I've got over a thousand potted trees here on this property in tons of different soil types. And I've only lost, since I started doing potted trees, I've only lost uh, a, hand, a handful. I mean, not more than 10. It's as close to what nature does as possible because somebody grew that tree in a pot. It has roots that are attached to dirt. And the older the root system you buy, the better that tree does, the bigger the stem on top. But my number one tip from my friend that does CRP, Jason Tank of Minnesota Habitat, his advice was buy fewer older trees. Now, how old the potted trees? So you're buying a bigger root system. Don't worry about what's on top. Don't worry at all about what's on top. Don't, don't buy into the, oh yeah, these are 24 inch trees above ground. Don't buy it, okay? Don't worry about the above ground. You're worried about what's in the ground because as in life, if you've got good roots, you're gonna have a good product above ground that people can see, right? So what you wanna do is, if you can swing the money, purchase three-year-old trees. Those are the one gallon pots. I showed you those over there. Those are three-year-old trees, usually grown from seed. Those are fantastic. They've got a fantastic root system. Put them in the ground and they're gonna take off. They are an auger plant. So usually you gotta use at least an eight inch auger. I usually use a 12 inch if I'm gonna rent the machine to do that. Um, the second best is what you saw over there. And that's what I call the habitat tree, just because there's a lot there for your money, right? I sell those for 80 bucks right now for an 18 count flat. That's 18 trees for $80. And of course I give deals if guys wanna buy a ton of them. But the main idea there is you're buying a two year old root system, again, with dirt on the roots. Okay, so that thing is gonna take off. You saw they're almost as tall, if not taller, than some of the three year old plants. So even though you shouldn't focus on what's above ground, you're still getting a pretty substantial tree there that can take off and start running. So guys, if anything there was of any help to you, like and subscribe. I will have order information down in the description for those of you guys that are near me in Minnesota, Wisconsin, probably the Dakotas, maybe Iowa, if you can pick up up here. You know, if you're ever, if you're planning on being in the up north in Minnesota for let's say fishing opener. I usually have the trees by tax day. So, you know, those are the guys that I wanna hear from if you wanna order. And supplies are limited all the time, of course, with three companies, supplies are limited. And I only get one truckload a year. I, you, you saw I am not a nursery. I am not trying to up pot these things and keep them and sell them bigger. That's just not what I do. I need to be out in the woods because that's where my brain is most useful. So. If you are interested in those trees over there that I still have, those are clearance priced. If you are interested in any trees for the spring, connect with me between January and March or so every year if you are in my neighborhood and you can pick up. And of course, like and subscribe if this is of any help to you. We really appreciate it. This is Jake Blow the Habitat Pro. We are in northern Minnesota. Get out and enjoy creation, guys. Good luck this season and God bless.